Greetings gamers, I am Dorgius and welcome back to Minecraft. Today I'm on the Odds Mods world, where currently I am alone, as I will explain. Odds Mods, which seems to be a main series on my channel, or at least so I thought, has been unexpectedly delayed due to the unprecedented laziness of a certain Odds member. Sorry those of you who are anticipating this second episode. Blame Mitch. Over the past week, perhaps, he somehow dodged recording anything more with me. No matter, I have a sub-series that I'm going to begin with this video. Gamers, welcome to Chill Build. Slightly inspired by nostalgia of the Odds and Ash series, the Odds Mod series is undoubtedly going to require an array of different structures in regards to our modding endeavours. This series is going to see these structures take shape, so if you like the building aspect of Minecraft, keep watching because this might just take your interest. So uh, essentially, to build anything in Minecraft, you're going to need resources. Now, that's partly what this series is going to be. It's going to be me gathering resources, but fear not, it's going to be mainly in montage form, other than the parts where I'm explaining things or talking about random topics that may or may not come to mind while I'm playing. So for the main, for the most part here today, I'm going to be using a lot of I'm going to be using a lot of spruce wood for the uh, for the planks of the buildings. Today, I intend to build a little a little little cabin for the odds to remain in, in place of the dirt hovel we have in the ground, because quite frankly it's getting a bit cramped in there if, if uh, Ash or if Ash or George should join us. So more space is a, is a, is a good idea. Oh yes, I made myself some uh, made myself some fresh tools. We've got, we've got a hammer, we have a bronze shovel, an axe, a pickaxe of course. There's some bronze shears as well because uh, I've been looking to get some wool to make, uh, to make beds for everyone. Or at least, at least half of us, because uh, we have a sleepboat system, apparently, which I didn't know about. I wonder if thermal expansion is ever going to get some uh, some kind of tree felling tool like Tinker's Construct has, because that'd be kind of helpful. Thermal innovation might, actually, we'll have to take a look into that. Isn't there like a buzzsaw or a chainsaw or something? Uh, let's see, so we got, we got flux bores. Those are, those are like powered hammers. Uh, flux, flux saw, cut blocks, yeah, I'd imagine... I'd imagine this is similar to, to something like that, right? Let's try and make one of these, maybe. Kinda glad we get rid of all these trees around here. Bloody skeletons keep hiding in amongst them. For those of you who watched episode one, you know why I hate skeletons. Oh, I hate them with a fiery passion. I think you're making a tree farm. Because rather than just planting them back here. We could probably build something here actually. This is quite a nice nice little area. Yeah, we could build uh could actually build the cabin here maybe. It's actually quite Perhaps not. I don't know. I'll have to think of an actual place I want to put it. That's something I haven't quite fathomed yet. Is where I'm going to build. We need some oak wood. Oak wood is what we require for the, uh, for the sort of struts and pillars of the building. Oh no. Oh no. It's Demon Pig. What are you doing, swine? Did you care for some berries? I've not actually been over on this side. Of, but there's, there's a lot of pigs here. Noted. <gasps> a second Demon Pig! Satan have brought forth his most powerful force to use against us, the demon pig. <coughs> oh, and turds. Splendid. Oh, there's a little ore deposit over here. What is this? That malachite? It looks like malachite. Uh, copper, in layman's terms. Oh, there's another one over here. What's this? Is that iron? This must be... Yes, that looks like iron to me. It's by the uh, rich poop stain. Oh, behive. Oh, behive again. Ooh, there's lots of white flowers over here. Oh, I can I can collect the tool ones as well because I've got the shears. Ah, smart. Smart Vius. I think I shall gather a stack of logs and then uh, return to, oops, return to the base. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to grab the leaves. But I suppose I could. I suppose I could grab grab the leaves because that that'll make a uh, nice nice uh, foliage. How much uses have these got? Oh they got plenty. Plenty of uses. Stronger than the iron ones, I'm pretty sure. Hmm, I'm not sure whether or not I should be collecting these for the LAZY ONE! DO IT YOURSELF! Ah, karma! Beast of darkness, if I'm gonna fight things, I'll probably equip my shield. Oh, die! Ooh! Shield, please! Ah! Beam! Yep. The shield was a good idea. Why you no give enough dirt? Malachite. You're not gonna shoot me. You chill. You chill. No, he's real. He's realized. Hey, wait a minute. That 
I'm supposed to kill that guy. Ah, yeah, big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. This bag of bones is a bag of buggered. Oh. How are you doing? Bloody hell, you're going to town. I'm gonna take some of you out. What do we do with the what do we do with the bees? Nothing. We do nothing with the bees. I'm just gonna leave you in there so you don't keep breeding. Okay, day is here. So the next the next material we're going to need for our structure in mind is some cobblestone. Quite simple. Uh, we also need some some stone brick as well. Kill this kill this kill the person. You've, you've made enough you've done enough damage. Woo! That was a bit close. That could have been very bad. Glad it wasn't. Die, you bony piece of crap. Now, I thought I would kill two chickens with one cobblestone and uh, go dig up one of those ore veins because, uh, well, well, rather, create a mine shaft above one of those ore veins and we'll see if there's any, any kind of nearby that we can use. Preferably something like iron or, I don't know, maybe, maybe even maybe copper and tin. Copper and tin would be a good idea because then we can, um, come to think of it, I think there was a diamond mine somewhere. I think it was a... Uh, I think it was over this way. I think I went towards the... Yeah, I remember. I went, to, I went towards the spawn. And uh, I, I ran I ran off kind of in that direction. And I found myself a uh, little little diamond deposit on the surface. So I'm gonna go dig that up. Might not be might not be all that large, the, uh, the deposit itself, but hopefully we can dig down to it and find ourselves some diamonds. But maybe I want to make myself a prospecting pickaxe first. I might I might do that. Hang on, throw it back. So yeah, uh, update on the Mitch front. It seems like he's just woken up, and I'm recording this at five o'clock in the afternoon. Was there ever any doubt? No, not really. Yeah, a block of iron, corner, three iron ingots, and two sticks makes a prospector's pickaxe. Now, I believe I also want to make a uh, field manual because that will allow me to sort of figure out exactly what ores are what, how to find them more efficiently, and uh, what they'll give me, preferably what they're, and other, other useful information as well, I'd imagine. Uh, specifically, I don't know. So let's, 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 let's find out by making the book and shutting up. Wooden pickaxe and a book. Oops. Book makes the field manual. Yes. Let's take a, let's take a, let's take a butcher's of this. So, with a, with the, with the, Kimberlite on the back burner for a, for a moment because I realize this is a building episode, not a mining episode. We'll do that next time. Uh, we got the we got quite a bit of cobblestone in the chest, so I thought I may as well just make use of that before uh, before trying to get any more. So, where would I want to build build this little 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 house? So, uh, I'd imagine up there looks like a good little spot. Be gone, leaves. Be gone. Leaf this place. So the house I have in mind seems to be, to uh, to die wolf's uh, to die wolf's pleasure, a internal seven x seven, which is an internal, which is an external nine x nine. Uh, so I'm gonna lay the cobblestone down. I'm gonna start with cobblestone. We might replace the floors with different things in the future. So I guess we'll start with about here. This looks like a good center spot. We can move over one block. Uh, yes, that looks, like a, that looks like a good center spot. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that's the foundation for our floor. At least, at least, at least the main part of it. The I think there's going to be little little bits here as well. Can go off in each direction. Three. three. Yes, yeah, so this this will be our, our foundation floor. So, all right. So the edges need to be two, three, four. We'll go once, but one more as well. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I missed. Try again. Oh, which way should be? I suppose the entrance way should be there, shouldn't it? So, put, ouch, put, uh, get my berries. There we are. And then these should go up by. I'm working from uh, from a design I, I made earlier in my creative building test world. Uh, this side does not have that. This side does, however, have a chimney. This side has the, the chimney indeed. Amount of, amount of oak wood. This was not planned. Can I turn this back? Yes, I can. Thank you. Quack. Hmm. I don't know about you, but I think I'd much rather have this torch on the wall than this torch. I realised that another material I intended to use for the uh, for the roof of the building was brick. So I'm going to break apart some of these clay blocks and make some bricks. 
There's a lot of beehives here. Oh, I think we've been here before, actually. This is this is the part where I made that terrible joke earlier. For the fifth time or so. Oh yeah, look. There's the poop stain. I got uh, I got almost a stack of wood. This should be this should be good. So here we're going to have a chimney, which I believe uh, I was going to use stairs for before it starts running these down. Yes, I still have a copper pickaxe. It's from mining. Deal with it. It's going to be the little, little chimney containment. Put some wood. Now, I'll probably have a little hard before. Is there going to be more wood here? Hopefully it should be the last last uh, amount of... Actually, no, I remember now, this side doesn't actually need cobbled stone stairs because I have another design in mind for this little segment. This... Actually, I've got some. This requires a few bits of this... Okay, maybe, maybe it does need a few... Um, just need a little bit of cobblestone. Like that. Ground like that. Because I can. We are got a little little walkway part here, and then we need some. Okay, number nine. And I can make spruce buttons as well. Does that look like? That works. Actually, I like that. Yeah, little buttons. Yeah, little buttons. A little button that would. Okay, so along this wall is going to be two blocks. Then a it should be too high or is it one high? One high windows, I think. Another window there. I think I need to. Uh, I think I need to invest in getting that glass. I think I wanted. I wanted to make. Uh, what I can use grape. I can use grapes as dye. That's 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 cool. Nice, nice, nice job, rustic. That's uh, that's that's smart. Framed glass, because this stuff looks quite nice, but it does take iron, that's the only issue I have. Actually running out of cobblestone, good thing we don't need much more of it. Actually scratch that, we will need some to make the stone brick uh, for the roof as well. I mean this house, this house is a bit ambitious for a first house, but it's... Yeah, it, it's, 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 it's nice. I think we might have to go for that vein in the, in the first place. Good thing about playing alone, actually, is I don't have to worry about everyone complaining about lag every five seconds. Oh, that necessarily is the case, but you know, it's nice to it's nice not to have Ash go oop lag every five minutes. Oh, what's this? A cinnabar vein? That's supposed to be redstone. Must be what is that? Is that an iron vein? Yeah, that's supposed to be redstone down here. And this Oh that must oh actually this is this is aluminium this year. Or uh, this is George's favourite bauxite. Actually, there's a lot of cows around here. This this really is George's area. There's a there's sort of clinic, clinically white trees. There's, there's cows. There's bauxite. <laughs> this is literally there's glowing mushrooms at like every other tree. Yeah, this is definitely George's George's biome right here. Ah yes, this looks very familiar. This is like a sort of familiar terrain. Can I Geronimo from here? No, doesn't. Oh maybe maybe this way. Maybe over here. This looks this looks this looks good. Trollbo! Oh, this is redstone. I remember this though. See, I've said that a lot. Oh, yeah, look, there's a torch. I remember this. Yes, this is it. Yes, here we are. I found it good. Yes, see, I wasn't, I wasn't lying. I found it. Let's see, here, so chunk. Where's the ore deposit? Okay, so this, this is, this is the chunk. So according to Geologic, this this diamond sample should be anywhere between this torch and that torch. Also going that way and that way, so... I uh, suppose we should use the prospect pickaxe to find... I suppose it'll have, we'll have to be below sea level for it to actually detect... In fact, which, which level does it say the diamond begins at? The Kimberlite resources? 
Kimberlite from between 48 meters below sea level and 61. So we need to do a hefty amount of digging before we actually find anything of the sort. How, how far are we below sea level? Hang on. We are 23, so we got we got a fair bit to go yet. Put up a torch and keep going. I need to I need to keep an eye on this. It's, it's a weird thing to keep focusing on the chunk. Oh, hello. I hear a skeleton, and I'm on the edge of a ravine. I don't like that. Ah, hello. You want a piece? You want a piece? Didn't think so. And there, no one did. We can go this way. I'm turning into a bit of a Corallus there. Corallus? Corallus. I don't know. Corallus. Corallus. Corallus sounds like a, like a, some sort of rash treatment. How far are we? Uh, eh, eh, eh. Oh, we're close. Okay, so we should, it could be anyway, anywhere below here, so start prospecting. False. False found in this area. What does that mean? False. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? False. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? False. Is, you hear you, 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 the prospect of the, the geologist mod, ladies and gentlemen. False was found in this area. I didn't bring any more torches. Bugger my butt. False found in this area. What does that mean? False! So I tried my hand at digging for the Kimberlite sample, or the, the Kimberlite deposit, but uh, to no avail because both my bronze hammer and pickaxe broke during the mining expedition and I'm not quite sure what the hell false is supposed to mean. So I think we're going to uh, have another rain check on the digging front and just return to the building. But on the right side, I've got plenty of cobblestone now that we can use to make, uh, that we can use to smelt, make it a stone bricks. And, um, yeah, so the mission wasn't in wasn't entirely unsuccessful. We did get unnecessary materials. 22. Right, so let's, uh, let's smelt up. Let's begin smelting up some of this, some of this stone, shall we? I think I'm gonna, we're going to need some more charcoal, so I'll, I'll, I'll get one furnace going with our half stack. <clears throat> and then I'll put a little bit more charcoal in this one. There we are. And then this is going to go up by about eight blocks, I think. Is that eight? I don't know. I don't think it's essentially important. How tall the chimney is, as long as it's not ludicrous. I'll do one more just to be safe, and then I'll cap that like that. Then we need some slabbingtons. Yes, like so. Building. There we are. That, that seems about high enough. Uh. Oot. Ow. What the balls? Mm. Okay, sure. Not sure what happened there. Well, there we are. Another set of stairs. This window is going to be two blocks high, I think. So I'm going to make that. Yeah, like that. This is going to be the doorway, but it's going to open inward, so it's going to be like that. And then, did I bring those? No, I didn't. Oh well. Hey, what just? Whoa, that, that could have been bad. A frame drop at the worst of times. Okay, so there's the final step. Uh, we'll need that one later as well. Uh, let's put that there. Okay, so a block above here. So it begins. It begins like this. All bend around like this. Yeah, I know that was a bit. That was just, just sort of a showcase. It, to just note where that's going. Right, so that then connects in the middle like that. And this goes up around the edge. Shall need some more stone brick. Whoa, whoa, what the hell happened there? Yeah, there we go. Something. So these gone wrong. What's happened here? Oh, did I? Yeah, I did. But the one up too high. Too high. Too high when it should have been one high. Temporarily like this. Actually, that might be a good idea because they're kind of concealed. <laughs> Little stub lights. They look a bit like a. They look a bit like the kind of feature you'd see on the side of a modern kind of structure. We got those little dome lights that are kind of embedded into the into the into the the, uh, the foundation of the structure. 
this oop, this goes up and back. Splendid, yes. Coming together now. I'll have a roof soon. Which reminds me I need to get the brick. And this is the kind of this is the kind of feature I like to include a uh, like a wooden log beam going across. I mean, you might um, you might or might not see that, but you no, know, it's there, and now you know that. I could do this. Eight iron. Oh, iron gear. Eight iron glass. There we are. That should be enough to make my glass panes. <sighs> that was a pain in the glass. Okay, let's put these uh, ass planes in the uh, in the window slots. There we are. Yes, this completes the build, doesn't it? Look at that. I might I might make these two just make these two tall. Oh my! Oh, there we go. I've got a fresh one. That's fine. Uh, I'll put these up too high. There we are. So that adds a bit, bit, bit of a better dimension, I think. And let's put this spruce fence up there. Now, now, when you can probably imagine that when this is when this can, when I have the materials, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put an immersive engineering lantern on the bottom of that. And Bushki, there we go. Look at that. No, no malice doors installed in this mod pack. Sorry, guys. All right. So, the roof, the roof. It's gonna be oops, oops bloody hell. Pretty straightforward, just kind of requires a fair few blocks. And I'm definitely going to need more, probably. Definitely, probably, that's contradictory to itself. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need more. More stairs. I can make more stairs, though. I shouldn't need any full block of bricks, so we should, we should be okay in that regard. Oh, hold on, that one. Too, too, too early. Too early! Back. There you go, that's one half done. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need some more bricks. More bricks, but this does look nice. It does look really nice. I like I like this. We're probably we're probably doing a lot of the, the roofs out of bricks, so we'll have to get more clay in the future. Okay, so this This builds up like this. We'll loop this around. Yes, there we go. Oh fantastic. The yeah, side. Should be a bit more mm. Actually, it looks like we've used, we don't need any more slabs. Just stairs. Okay, good. Perfect. Perfect amount. Oh, it's like we do need some more slabs. Can I turn these back? Oh, thank goodness. Thank bloody goodness. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Bought ourselves a little cottage. Not too shabby. Let's get rid of this. So we want to cover up the bricks on the inside because they don't. I mean, they look they look okay, but I feel like there's better designs we could have. I made one too many sets of slabs. It turns out. Okay, there we are. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this little little build progression video, please remember to hit the like button and maybe subscribe if you'd like to see more of these because uh, this, this was fun. This, this was a good change of pace from the uh, usual shenanigans of the old series, although there will be more of those, undoubtedly. So once again, I am Dolvius, and thank you gamers for watching.